Truly, I'm serious about the gym shorts, though. It's weird. And so I got home from this fucking volleyball match. My roommate, his girlfriend, played college volleyball. So I'm very excited to, like, shit on volleyball whenever I can. <laughs> so I get in there, and I was like, yo, volleyball is fucking... That's a weird culture. Get them fucking shorts. Get them gym shorts, dude. The shorts they're wearing is gross. And she was like, no, we need those shorts for speed. <laughs> on the court. And I was like, uh, I, I know that's not true. I watch the NBA. <laughs> None of you are moving as fast as like a ref. <laughs> and those guys are wearing like slacks, <laughs> dress shoes for some reason. She was like, no, we need those shorts. The tight shorts, they're essential. She compared them to like a helmet in football. I was like, I know they're not essential because I Googled the, uh, the Special Olympics volleyball team. <laughs> all, the, all of a sudden, those shorts weren't so essential for them. <laughs> What's that about? How baggy do you think they're? They look like the fucking and one mixtape out there. <laughs> Offensively baggy is how I would describe all of their attires. We're all adults. We, we can. This, we all agree. The Special Olympics is a good. It's a good program. I just. It's great. I just feel like the guy who came up with it had to be like a real risk taker. You know what I mean? That's a wild thing to suggest for the first time. Just some guy in a board meeting, like, I got an idea. We should be racing these motherfuckers. <laughs> Like, what'd you say? Like, fucking uh, town over said they had the fastest ones. I said we settle it, you know. I'm not making fun of the Olympians. The concept is wild. It's a wild. Like if your best friend invented the Special Olympics and told you about it first, you'd be like, don't ever tell anybody that. <laughs> Who the fuck were you gonna tell that to? What are you doing? Oval?